Hey everyone, here's a scripture for you to reflect on this week. It's found in John chapter 15, verse 7. And Jesus says these words. He says, If you remain in me and my words remain in you, you can ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. What a scripture, what a great promise. Now, if you just pull that scripture out of context, it can sound kind of like a genie in the bottle. All right, just wish a bunch of things, take it to God, and he said he's going to grant whatever you wish. But it's important to understand what remaining in Jesus means and what re allowing his words to remain in us. It really speaks, that word remain is about staying committed, not giving up on Jesus even when life gets difficult. Remaining faithful to him and to his words. And that really is what gets us aligned with God's will. It aligns our life with God's will. I learned an important lesson about alignment. A number of years ago, we had a car, bought brand new tires on it, and our car drifted to the right. It pulled to the right when you, when you drove it. And after a short amount of time, less than a year, the tires were, began to wear unevenly. It didn't drive correctly. And it actually caused us to have to purchase new tires sooner than we wanted to. So when, it was, uh, when a car's out of alignment, it produces uh, challenges, doesn't drive properly, and it can uh, cause uh, a lot more expenses than, you, than is necessary, similar to our lives. When we're out of alignment with God's will, uh, there can be confusion, there can be doubts, but when we are aligned with God's will, we, by allowing Jesus and his words to remain in us, then that out of that alignment, we're going to begin to request and ask and wish for things that are according to his will, not our own. Similar to the prayer Jesus prayed, not my will, but yours be done. And when we stay faithful to Jesus, uh, we will see how he will be faithful to us. And that's my encouragement to you this week.